Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is one of the greatest athletes to ever step foot on any field, basically. In fact, he is the only athlete uh, to play in both a World Series and a Super Bowl. That's incredible. He won a couple of those Super Bowls, including one with the Dallas Cowboys in 95. In 2023, he was named Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year, and he's got a new book out now, y'all. It's called Elevate and Dominate, 21 Ways to Win on and Off the Field. Everybody give it up for Coach Prime, Deion Sanders! <laughs> Shades! Oh yes. my God! They're sport. You've got fans. They I don't got know the if you shades know. On. Thank yes. you. So uh, you're about to be a grandpa. This is so exciting. Oh my God! Don't tell me that. Yeah, that's exciting. Oh, it's not. Stop clapping. <laughs> Stop clapping. I'm, I'm too young to be a darn grandpa. No. But I'm happy. I'm proud of my daughter. She she's waited since she's 34, so I'm good with that. I'm good yeah, with yeah, that. yeah. I'm good with that. I'm happy. Beautiful. I'm excited for her. I really am. That's that's my that's my baby. Yeah. That's my baby. I have two daughters and three sons, but that's my baby. Yeah. No, okay, so this is funny. You rank them. Yeah. I heard that you rank. Look. Yes. <laughs> this is not Everybody okay. does, but you don't say it publicly. <laughs> no, that... <laughs> there are days that they switch to, yeah, yeah. like you're easier. Everybody yeah. rank their kids. I just do it publicly. Yeah. Like right well... now, my daughters are, they're, they're fourth and fifth right now. They're fourth and fifth yeah, right now. They're getting on my last nerve. They're, they're, yeah. they're a problem. No, wait, do you do it? Online, you rank that like you'll be like happy yes. birthday and you rank your. But kids I list. tell them like yeah. on their birthdays they're always number one. Okay. Then the day after it changes. It changes. <laughs> yeah, I do. I know. I know my kids like a book. Like I, if you tell me what happened, yeah, I will tell you which one did it. Oh and yes. When I'm old, I know which one is gonna try to put me in the nursing home. <laughs> I know which one is gonna be the first one there for the reading of the wheel. I, I know who they are and what they're capable of doing. Wait, how do you rank them though? Like, what happens? Like, how do they? How do they? The consistency in what they possess and what they do. Like, okay. if you do some stupid throughout the month, you know where your ranking's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you ask daddy for something consistently, you know where your ranking's gonna be. Oh, that is annoying. I'm mm -hmm. like, the more you ask, the less you're gonna get. Everybody it. does it, but you don't do it. Like, everybody know their kids. You know the darn ones that you like. Lord, please help them. Just get, just stay in school and be. Yeah. Stuck. Like, you know he's ranked last. <laughs> you are such a Texas parent right now. It's amazing. I'm I love such it. such an honest parent. An honest parent, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. So wait, will you have a, a new book about advice, which I oh think that you're probably God. great at giving because you're so honest. I, I, brutally honest. Yeah. See, I didn't do a book because I wanted to make money. I did a book because, John Maxwell taught me this, because it's a way to get to people that I would normally reach. And yeah. everyone has a coach. I don't know, because you're such a wonderful singer. Did you have a voice coach? When... Uh, not really. Well, I had. I feel like I had several just in my teachers that okay. were, well, yeah. Well, as a teacher. Yeah. See, in life, we negate that. Athletes have coaches, and many people have teachers, but in life, we don't. Yeah. What if we had a coach to, to just sit there and decide when you're in a relationship, no, no, he ain't the right one. Mm -mm. Oh. Or you go, girl, that's it, that's it. Take a left, take a left. I want to be your coach on a daily basis, and that's why I comprised this book. And it's yeah. 21 ways to win on and off the field. Like, the first chapter, even if you broke, keep moving. Everybody in here has something wrong, and we're dealing with something right now. Yeah. But you got to keep moving. Everything God gave you, my feet, my eyes, my hands, my walk, everything is progressive to go forward. But it yeah. seems like when you're broken, you're affected, you stop, and you're still. And I'm not a hunter, even though a lot of people hunt hogs in Texas. Yeah. I can't shoot or kill. Yeah. But I understand if you still, people get a better shot at you. So won't you just keep moving? Yeah. Don't let oh, them that's... Don't you just keep moving? You just gotta keep moving. You should be clapping right now, right? Don't be a target. <laughs> you should be clapping. Don't be a target. That's I like it. I like it. No, that's good. I like that. Just keep moving. You just keep swimming. Dory you, told you, you us. Got to. And yes. <laughs> so wait, so you you shared some pretty intimate moments. This is probably why I'll never do a book. This it gets very intimate. Like I had no You've done idea. everything. What you mean? Oh, they asked me all the time to do a book, and I'm like, I'm you no, don't have to. No. You could coach well, everybody wants to know how you make it to that seat. People right now, they're attracted to flawed people. Maybe they're that's not, why I have a fan not, base. They're not looking. <laughs> 
They're, they're not looking for perfection. Everybody yeah. in here, something's wrong with each and every one of us if we're yeah. dealing with something right now. Okay. So the flawed is what's attractive right now. Yeah. And I'm tremendously flawed. I got a whole lot of stuff wrong with me, but guess what? I got a whole lot of stuff right with me, too. Yeah, and you keep moving, yeah. although I like that. But you, you have to open up about some things that I didn't even realize. Like, I guess I was living under a rock, but like the major surgery that you had, I didn't oh, realize yeah, I you got... drove off a cliff at one point. Yeah, these shoes look good, but there's only eight toes in them. Eight toes? Well, only, you only, only need the eight, then. There's only eight toes in them, but I'm, I'm gonna keep on walking. I'm gonna keep going. But that was a yeah. crazy thing. It was crazy. Yeah. It was life-threatening. You yeah. know, at one point they told me, I, I don't know if you're gonna make it, because I had blood clots. Um, no, then now we're gonna amputate your whole leg. Okay, now we can take you from knee down. Now, okay, we we taking two toes. Take them. I don't need toes. I don't play anymore. Take them. Yeah, yeah. So now, you know, I walk with a noticeable limp at times, but I'm still walking and yeah. I'm still moving. And God preserved me. And you make it look cool. Yeah. Well, let's take a quick break. Dion's book is called Elevate and Dominate, 21 Ways to Win on and Off the Field. You can find it wherever you get your books. And everyone in the audience is getting a copy. <laughs>